Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about arrays in BigQuery. Arrays are very important data structures where it's used extensively in many areas and parts of BigQuery. A simple use case of arrays is while combining a list of items with the same data type. It's very important to understand and remember that arrays are made up of same data types. It can be strings, it can be numbers, integers, decimals, floats, whatever it is, it has to be the same data type. In this video, we are going to do a little bit of analysis on arrays and how they are used. And we'll play around with a few functions of arrays before jumping on to structures in the next video. So let's talk about arrays. So in order to create array, all you have to use is the, the keyword array. So select array, Jack, Jill, David, George as employee name. So the output would be like this, employee name, Jack, Jill, David, and George. Now, array underscore length, it will tell you the length of an array. Remember the width statement, with employee array as the same statement as above. And you are able to use another function, array underscore length for this array to find out what would be the length. Length is four. That means the number of items in this array is four. Now, it's a very interesting concept that array enables a table within a table in BigQuery. Did you get confused a little bit? I'm talking about array enables a table within a table. Let's see in the next. So array aggregate, ARR, AGG is an expression in BigQuery. Let's look at this, right? Let's look at, there is a simple with employee statement, which we have used in our previous video, the same with statement. So with employee as one, two, three, and four, employee number as Jack, Jill, David, and George, with their age, and departments. I wanna create an array of employees which belong to a department. Let's look at it again. Using the query here, I'm creating a department name and arrays of employees which fall in the same department. Let's look at what would be the output. See, this is what I was talking about, a table in a table. In other databases, what you would have to do is put the employee name as in a separate table and then have department as a separate table. Here, you can have a structure within a structure. Please note that the HR is not getting repeated. That means it's only two records. That is the difference. If you just run the internal query, and I'm gonna show you when we do this hands-on, you would see that there are one, two, three, and four records. But because I have used array aggregate as an exam, as the function, it shows there are only two records. And that is the concept of creating a table within a table for using BigQuery. I know it's a little different concept, but we will see how it turns out in the next few queries. Array union. Again, I can do union of two different arrays together. You look at it using select array, this array in HR department, and this, this array of employee in IT department. You see two records, 
two different departments with multiple employees. So this is using union all. This slide shows you that you can union arrays as well. Again, please download the scripts using the Google Drive link mentioned in the video description section below. And then let's apply filters in the array. In order to apply filters, you would, so this is an array. In order to apply a filter, you have to use an expression known as unnest. So let's see that. Remember the union statement which we wrote in the previous slide with employee array as select this employee name for HR and these employees for IT. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna filter that department where there is a person named David. So select department name, comma, array of something as employee name display. Now let's see what is this something. Focus on this query. Here you would see that you have select employee name, which is your EMP name from unnest EMP NM. So this is EMP NM, EMP NM. You have to unnest. That means do a unarray, do an opposite of an array, which is unnest. So after you do unnest or unpacking an array, then find out if David exists in unnest array. If yes, then show it. I know it's a little bit complex. We will try to figure out in a few minutes. So look at that. It does not show any data within IT, it's blank, but it shows all the records, all the name of employees for HR because David belongs to HR. I know it's a little bit um, out of the normal, so let's focus on arrays now. Okay, so let's run this query, select array, run it. As I mentioned before, there is no replacement of hands-on. So you have to make sure that you continuously do hands-on. So array, select array of these four employees as employee name, and you see employee name, Jack, Jill, David, and George. Next, I'm gonna do an array length. So with employee array as the sub table, sub query, I am using the function array length to find out the number of records for this array, number of elements in the array. So the length is four. Next, I am going to look at array aggregate. As we discussed earlier, this is the same inner query and I can select that run selected. You would see that the inner queries for every employee name, there is HR getting repeated and then for IT. But then when you pack it using array aggregate, it won't repeat. So array aggregate is gonna pack a set of employees within an array. Please understand that the other columns like age and everything is not focused at this point in time. We'll see that in the structures section in the next video. So for every HR, for every department, you have names of all the employees, IT, George. Next, we are going to focus on union. So you have two arrays, you just need to use union all. Very simple, run this, and you would see that it's union. Next, I'm gonna do an unpacking of array. So I wanna apply a filter in an array, find out the department 
where there is an employee named David. Look at this first. It's not difficult for you now because we have seen it's just an array and for department and George. Next, I am going to use unnest. Unnest means unpacking as we discussed employee name, which is the field from here. Let's write down. Note that it's where the name in unnest. You can use Jack or Jill also. Jack is available both in both departments. You would see both, but for now David. So I filtered on David on, and you are able to see that for IT, there is nothing. However, for HR, all the three records are being shown. Again, download the scripts, download the queries which we have written today in this video from the video description link section there is a link click on that and download the the scripts thank you for watching